In this lesson, we want to explain the vegetation paint tool. Once you are familiar with the plants in the library and their sitting, we can use them for this tool. We are going to the context section and then vegetation paint. When we, we, when we get to tools, you can put all kinds of plants like trees, grass, flower, and even rocks on it. For example, we start from a grass. In the grass and flower, select one of them and drop it on this area. And easily by clicking and dragging and release in this area. Now we click on a paint tool here and determine its diameter. and then draw wherever we want by clicking and dragging as you can see draw flashing green polygons depending on your distance from the software ground the grass may be not visible, visible be visible which indicates that the paint has been done in this area and there is something on it this is to make a project lighter and easier to navigate inside. Well, now in a density section, we can increase or decrease the volume of the grass that we drop on this area. Okay. <clears throat> Going to the edit menu and then preferences. In the grass fading section, you can set limited view of grass to distance of the camera between three modes near, medium, or far. If it is in a far mode, the camera can be at the farthest distance from the grass, but the grass can be seen, which I like it. It depends on your power system. Okay, back to tool. Now we can add flower on a tool. Easily go into the grass and flower and choose a flower here. Drop it. And as you can see, flower add to the paint and you can change your density, its density. <clears throat> and if you want, you can use the eraser tool here and easily by clicking and dragging, delete the part you want. You want. You can even insert rocks. Go into rocks and select one rocks, and as you can see, it's in there. If you want, you can click on these three dots and delete it. Even you can put trees. Go to the tree section and select one of these small trees or big trees. Drop it here. As you can see, you can put trees on it. But you can, but you just cannot insert detailed grasses. As you can see, because there are four vegetation scatter tool. Click on any object that you imported and its sitting will appear in the sitting section, for example, trees. All the tree section are in sitting by clicking on this area on the arrows. You can go back to going to the tool. Another point that is when you use this tool, a layer is created for this tool in a scene manager. So whenever you want to go back to the tool and the settings, click on it or select it on a scene inside the scene by clicking on it very easy if you want to use this tool in a specific object or environment it may bleed that environment for example if we paint on this area as you can see we cannot focus on this area there is a trick to do this select the environment that you want to paint on it in the scene manager, right click on it and isolate it. Or, I mean, isolate it. And 
very easy paint on it and then take it out of the isolate again as you can see it's very clean now back to the grass setting in a size we can uh, select grass and its settings you can change the size of the grass you can change the color and tint and in the dryness option determine dry or wet in grass in the stripes you can create like a football grass stadium football grass as you can see in a more section you can enter more setting and change the scale of the stripes or the angle okay and use this arrow and area to return the tool on, in, on each object there are three dots and there are two options inside it delete as you can see you can delete it or go to library for example when you are in a tree library and if you want to add another grass in the tool going on the grass and select the go to library mode and the software bring you to the grass section and you can select any grass okay this is interesting vegetation paint tool Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.